Hey everyone, and this is a special edition doll comparison video for the end of the year. And I'll be showing you, um, for most part, most of the new ghouls and monsters that came out for Monster High for 2014. Um, like I've said before, I really enjoy collecting the new characters that come out. I do like um, the main characters. But since they make so many different versions of them, my main focus for Monster High, Ever After High, Zelfs, and even My Little Pony is getting the new characters that come out in the toy and doll and because form. Because there's so many, I'll be doing the Mansters first, and then the Ghouls. So here's a look at the four new guy characters from Monster High, and including... There's the fifth one, which is in the special edition pack from the Comic-Con, and that's Manny. So here first is uh, Invisibilly, and he has a blue, black, and white color scheme. And I really like the kind of invisible feet that he has, as well as his um, hair and beanie, I think is really cute. And here's a look at Porter Geis, who came out with the Haunted line this year. And I really like his outfit, that he's an artist. I think that makes him cool and unique. Here's a look at Manny Tar, who came out with the two-pack with Iris, um, the, the special edition for uh, the Comic-Con. And he's really, really big. I still have him in the package. Uh, I think... The poses and everything are really cool, but, um, yeah, he's, like, really buff and really, really tall. Here's a look at Nate and Rot, who was a part of the Freaky Fusion line. And I like that he has bright primary colors with red, blue, and yellow. And I really like that he has long hair. I thought that was cool. And that he's a zombie unicorn hybrid. And here's a look at Slow Mo who came out with the Ghoul Spirit line and is one of the harder uh, dolls to find. There's a lot of people hunting for him, but I um, really enjoy his outfit and his little flag that he comes okay, with. So overall, out of all the guys that I have for 2014, I think my favorite goes to Nathan Rott. Because I really like unicorns, and I think he's a really cool character. Okay, so now time for the girl dolls. And once again, this is most of the new characters for Monster High that came out this year. I know I'm missing a couple from uh, Fright's Camera Action line and maybe some other lines, but I think this is the majority of the new girls. And then you have Lor Lorna McNessie right here. And I really love her um, Scottish influence in the plaid on her skirt. And then we have the Freaky Fusion, Avia Trotter, who is really cool because she's a centaur harpy mix. And the Serena Von Boo, the Ghost Mermaid. And uh, Bonita Femur, who's the moth skeleton hybrid. I really love her hair, which is blonde with the pink and the black streaks in it. I think that's cool. And then the special edition Iris, who is still in package, but she looks really short compared to Manny. I'm not sure how tall she is. Compared to the rest of the dolls, but she seems pretty short, which I think is cute. And then up on top of the box is Gilda Goldstag. Looking awesome. I really love her horns and her, like, pointed ears. And then next up we have, um, Vandella. Which is one of my favorites because of her outfit. I think it's really awesome. Piratey. And then Kiyomi, who is the faceless ghost. So she's pretty special because she doesn't have colored in eyes. 
And then we have River Styx, who is from the Haunted line as well. Which, uh, one thing I really liked about the Haunted line was their special designed doll stands. And then finally we have Casta, looking awesome in her sparkly dress. And then there's Marisol, which also belongs to the Monster Exchange line. So overall, I just wanted to give my personal favorites. Um, my favorite hair of the all the different dolls. I really love River's hair, which is blue and then pink and then purple pastel. My favorite outfit overall for all these ghouls is, um, I think Vandala has my favorite outfit. I love the pink and teal combination and just all the extra details she has. So, yeah. Some awesome new design characters made into doll form this year. I think, I uh, can't wait to see what next year brings for Monster High. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this special edition Monster High new character for 2014 uh, doll comparison episode. Please leave a comment. Tell me which one's your favorite or what some things you hope to see in 2015 are. And I'll see you guys next year. Well, well, I'll see you guys next year, but I'll probably see you too be before that too. So, uh, bye!